Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now hopefully we're live on YouTube for the second Karina's Challenge of the initial debut evening. So in this stream, we're going to be going for the Mystic Disperse Challenge. And this one, I think out of all of them, might arguably be the easiest one. And also, like, for, I think, the difficulty of it, it's got really, really good rewards as well. Because uh, you get 15,000 six star shards if you can do this. So you've got to complete Act 5, Chapter 3, Quest Number 1 with only non Mystic three star champions in your team roster. So the setup that we've gone for today, and this is just uh, a little bit of uh, a fun setup as well. Uh, we got in like Aegon, dude. Aegon, I think, is going to be beasting for this. Uh, Shang-Chi, we've got Human Torch. We also have. Um, uh, Nick Fury and Quake as well, just for the evade charges. So I think the plan is we're going to go for the cosmic path, and then I'm just going to ramp up Aegon. Uh, we've got like a couple of annoying fights, Hyperion and also Symbiote Spidey, uh, but I think we should be fine for both. And again, I think it's a little bit quicker and maybe a little bit easier than the uh, the longer uh, kind of standard path that you go for. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how this works out today, man, but it should be interesting. And we do have a 30% booster active from the last stream, and also we do have Suicide Masteries on as well, so we've got 45 minutes to um, uh, try and do this today. But yeah, we just need to play well, get Aegon ramped up, and then yeah, he should just be doing crazy things, man. So I think this is hopefully going to be uh, the easiest one to do. Because we just did three star Cyclops taking down the Collector Man, and that was that was a bit of a, a bit of a mission, boys. But it was a fantastic stream. Very, very fun. So, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yo, what is up? Oh, the, to the boy Jeff, dude. Thank you so much for the additional super chat, man. I think that makes you our, our blobbery swell of the day now with $35. And, yeah, cheers, dude. That fight was that fight was absolute hell with Cyclops, man. Again, we just couldn't do anything to stay alive. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm, glad it's, uh, I'm glad it's over. But this is like the perfect fight for ramping up Aegon. And once we get this man going. And this one's like so annoying because not only do you have three star champions, but you've also got like a 50% attack reduction. But again, there are some like beyond god tier, crazy broken champions like Aegon and also Shang-Chi that should be putting in some mad work um, once we can really get into the matches. But again, Aegon, it takes like above 100 hits on the, uh, the combo to. Uh, but he starts seeing some sauce out of this man. So yeah, I think we'll use the uh, the special three as like a reserve if we need it. Let's just keep on battering in the standard combo. Now that we're starting to get closer to 100 again, our damage output is going up a fair bit now. But again, if we can ramp Pagon up, dude, should be crazy for this. But yeah, I'm curious to see how it turns out. I was I was pretty uh, impressed. I didn't die a lot more during that Cyclops challenge, man. I thought on the way there it was going to be an absolute bloodbath with the Bane Note. But we uh, we got quite fortunate. Uh, the AI playing into us a lot of the time. Aside from all that Black Widow fight, dude, I got clapped on Black Widow. But it's uh, it's been a good night of streaming, man. It's been such a crazy day for content. A couple of Shang-Chi videos. Friggin' roadmap, dude. That roadmap. So much stuff coming out. So yeah, I'm getting a little bit distracted here, right? Let's stay in the zone. But at least we don't need to worry about Bane here. And again, having additional three-star champions, uh, we can have the safety net of the Nick Fury synergy, which is lovely as well. Nice. Because we got willpower active, uh, the armor breaks are actually getting me topped up here. Which is a great sign. Play it safe, man. I want to keep this combo. And then we're almost 
at the range where we can snipe her down. I think we go for uh, another combo, then special three, and then we should be good. Okay, nice man. Whew. Again, Aegon, the first fight is always the worst fight, but once we have that like banked massive combo, again, the additional uh, fights can go like so much quicker in comparison. So yeah, a fantastic first fight there. And yeah, mad love to uh, the boy Jeff as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is this is the Mordo one. So this is actually like the worst of the uh, uh, the quest in um, uh, what was it five three in my opinion. Even for progressing players, dude, this one's like the most annoying to get through first time. And then once you're through this, there's still like annoying stuff. But I think the Mystic one's actually the worst. But again, depends on your your roster and exactly who you're bringing. But there are a couple of fights I do want to use Shang-Chi for here. Um, but I thought we would, uh, yeah, use the first couple of fights. We got Drax, we got Angela. Pretty good opportunities to build up Aegon here. And then, like, you know, worst comes the worst. If we got, like, a 300 combo Aegon, <laughs> again, this man starts doing work. He hasn't got his Fury yet, but once he gets his Fury, dude, I don't think that's impacted. Um by the attack reduction node, so any fury bonuses are actually big, because the attack reduction node just reduces base attack. So yeah, if you get like your fury buffs on certain characters, again, they can do really, really well uh, against these attack reduction nodes. Aegon has a pretty good fury, I think, once we hit 300 combo. But yeah, we've got to reach that first. But we are very quick to get there. In all fairness, man, we're like almost 200 combo. We're gonna try and uh, beat this out. Okay, nice. Yo, what's up, uh, Cosmic? Thank you very much for the super chat, bro. Certainly do appreciate it. So I was just trying to have a bit of a peek out the corner of my eye there. But feeling a bit more relaxed. Like, the Nick Fury uh, evade synergy, dude, is literally my is my comfort in this game. <laughs> I was feeling so on edge during, like, the initial uh, run of the Cyclops one because we had, like, it was, like, no safety, dude. It's like, we've got Cyclops, we got another Cyclops. If I mess up, leave myself open for a second, don't transfer Bane at the right time, I'm just going to die super quick. Right, I think we can go for this, and then just into another combo, and we're done, boys. Cosmic 5-star. Yeah, that one looked, um... Uh, was it? Pretty good. I think this one's uh, probably worth the time and effort, man. It's not, it doesn't seem too bad, at least on paper. But I'll let you know if we reach any big problems in here. But again, you got like a 3-star egg on, free half an hour. <laughs> Uh, you probably just like fully invest like everything in making him as safe as possible and get the whole path done with him. Bring like the Heimdall synergy as well. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of additional stuff that you can potentially do. Uh, maybe like another counter for um, Hyperion, maybe like a Void or something. <laughs> if you want to, you know, if you've got to use a couple of revives for 15k uh, six star shards, it's, it's not too bad, eh? So good old chunk there. So yeah, I, I quite like this one, man. This is one of the, the ones that I think is um, almost entirely skill-based. I mean, it pretty much is entirely skill-based if you have the right team and the patience. Right, we've got to start going for, like, these Mega Special 2s. Actually, do we want to go for the Mega Special 2s yet? Actually, I don't think we do. Because we want to ramp up the combo a bit more. We really want to get above uh, 300 persistent combo. So yeah, let's actually not worry about Mega Special 2s. I'm just going to try and be a bit cheeky here and spam a couple of Special 1s just to inflate my combo count as well. Despite the fact we've got Suicide Masteries, man. OK, 
Because, yeah, this is the point we want to get to in every match where we've got the Fury. Because then the damage goes up really nicely. And then with uh, the Mega Special 2 combo, we can really make a solid dent in uh, most opponents from that. Oh, just stopped uh, registering my inputs there. Having that a little bit recently, man. I swear the game just sometimes uh, decides no. Not, not this time, mate. Okay, nice. We should be like well over the uh, the starting 300 combo there. Three star ghost is the way. Ghost, I think, is a brilliant option. There's so many characters you can use for this one. But next fight, I, th I think we got to bring out the boy Shang-Chi here. You know, I think it'd be a bit rude not to. Let's let's go for it, man. Let's see that. Let's see that Beyond God tier performance, hopefully. Let's get rid of the, the suicides. I think go for a four combo here. Double mediums are slow. And then we'll go for a full five combo heavy attack. And let's see if we can quickly bait our SP2 here. Then we'll go for a slow three combo. But you see your boys had a bit of time on the CCP beta. I actually should have gone for special three there. It's too busy trying to flex my Shang-Chi skills, but I'm, I'm an idiot. Don't have any skills, man. I've got a... Um, I'm going to go for this, actually. This allows me to control a little bit better, <laughs> despite my ambitious plays there. Shang-Chi's killing it here, bro. Give everybody a free cheat code for this quest. Yeah, man, he's he's kind of putting Aegon. <laughs> he's kind of putting Aegon to shame. <laughs> uh, but Aegon, Aegon ain't fully wrapped yet, though. In all fairness. All right, let's go for the reset, and then we're gonna bait out uh, special two here. I think I'm just gonna go for this for a bit of safety. Shang Chi is bossing it, mate. Let's go. Let's see the source, Shang Chi. This man is gonna. This man's gonna murk Mordo. He's on a war path. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have gone for that. I should have gone for a short combo in between. I forgot. Um, for one second, that. <laughs> right there we go. That was still a pretty good fight, though, man. That still worked out really, really nicely. Ooh. I think I'm still going to use uh, a couple of fights just to ramp up Aegon a bit more. Just while we got uh, an easy um, situation to deal with. Because again, Aegon's, Aegon's kind of at that mode where they're going to be dealing about the same damage now. But Shang-Chi, you can get into that ramped up Aegon damage just so quickly. So yeah, he was he's killing it there, dude. That was awesome. But now Aegon is, uh, yeah, he's, he's beasting, boys. He's beasting. To go for maybe a couple of special ones. Get the combo up slightly more. So you don't really need to get out much more in all fairness. Right, let's aim for a special two. Bait this out. Go in. Short combo. Charge this up. Yeah, he didn't attack into me there. Slightly unfortunate. Yo, what is up, Techno? Dude, ain't too bad, mate. Ain't too bad. This is our, our second challenge of the night. We got the, the Cyclops one. Maybe maybe world first on the Cyclops one. I mean, you know, that would certainly be a massive achievement to have under my belt there. Um, so, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> but it was uh, suffering, man. It was just pure suffering. Yeah, he's just not playing into, like, hitting into me, so I can't get the Mega Furies here. Slightly unfortunate. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's like, uh, what is it? Probably another 78 hits in the bank there. That's really good. Um, 
yeah, I think we keep on using these opportunities to ramp Aegon up. And Shang-Chi, we're going to need him for some future fights, but I don't want to um, uh, lose him preemptively. You can use revives there, but again, <laughs> dude, ideally after that last one, I want to try avoiding using revives. <laughs> That'd be amazing. But I, I think it's very likely we'll have to use a uh, revive or two on both Hyperion and also Mordo. I definitely have the expectation for that. But again, there, there are like certain characters you can bring in. I think like Void, if I wasn't running the Suicide Masteries, Void would be so good. I think Void to a certain extent does work uh, quite nicely with... Oh yes, because we have the Nick Fury Evade charges, we actually can't do this uh, super sick special 2 combo as easily. Unless we lose all the charges, so... It's probably just a bit better and a bit safer to uh, ignore that for now. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, dude. But yeah, thank you very much for tuning in to the, uh, the second uh, Karina Challenge stream this evening, man. These, I think we're going to have a very fun time. Again, I'm trying to get them all done in the next uh, month and a bit. I think we'll probably be able to get all the Act 5, maybe Act 6 ones done this weekend. I think the one I'm a bit borderline on is whether or not I can do the Kamala Khan one. But I, I think, you know, at some point this weekend, we are just going to have to, like, dive into the deep end and just give it a go, give it our best effort, see if it is possible. But I'm going to need to um, probably take her up to rank 5, I would assume. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, you know, rank 5 Kamala Khan. Probably not the first champion I wanted in my collection. Uh, but I guess, uh, I guess you know, sometimes uh, fate is a, a cruel mistress, lads. Do all these uh, amazing, uh, sweeter videos now. Well, maxed out Kamala. Should have brought Magneto X. The thing is, I can still use uh, Shang Chi for uh, Mordo, so yeah, it should be fine. Plus, um, smashing into with smashing in with Vagon as well isn't too much of an issue. So yeah, it's, it's like most of the time anyway with Mordo. You're just trying to like bait out a special attack. So I don't find when fighting Mordo, I'm powering him like that often. And we've we've also got Human Torch in the um, roster as well to try and take a solid chunk off. I'll probably go in with like Shang Chi first, see how much I can get down, and then um, then Human Torch, and then try and finish with like Aegon and whoever we got left. But yeah, if we could do this without using any revives, man, I'd be a very very happy man. 15k six star shards, no revives is massive dub. I'm I'm fully expecting Hyperion just to be a bit of a bit of an idiot, mate. I think we'll officially go in with Aegon or Hyperion and just see if uh, that man wants to uh, throw his specials. Because you know there are some like YOLO plays with Aegon, are just like holding that special three for a bit. Actually, I need to get my head back in this fight, man. I'm taking a bit too much damage here. Yeah, we've almost got Venom down into Assassins here. So I think we drill in another combo. Whereabouts are we? Getting a bit closer. Right, perfect. Oh, pardon me. Yo, MCOC damn epic well. Dude, thank you so much for the additional $15 super chat there, man. Who would I prefer as a six-star uh duped rank three? I think I think Shang-Chi, I think the really good thing about Shang-Chi, um, in comparison to Strife again, Strife is absolutely phenomenal with Apocalypse, but Shang-Chi just slots into like any team and those like he's just such a great character man like he works so well with suicide mastery he slots into any team so the fact that he's like so versatile and kind of just fits in it everywhere is like one thing i really really like in champions so yeah it's got to be shang chi dude i'm i know i'm like big simping over shang chi um the last couple of days but he really is like a phenomenal character like, he's so well made. But yeah, thank you very much for the super chats, man. You've been supporting me like crazy, mate. I swear, it's almost like $300 in the last couple of days. So yeah, mad love. And if you go for the Cavalier Crystals, mate, uh, best of luck. Hopefully you get some uh, good pulls.
Use Nick Fury for hide. That's not a bad shout. Actually, I, I kind of need him alive for the evade charges, just as a safety net. So yeah, if I die, if I die, I ain't gonna die, you know. But I'm pre I'm prepared to use a few revives. Like, I'm not one of. <laughs> I accept that sometimes I'm not the best player, man. So yeah, I'm I'm prepared for it. But the fact we haven't died already is a fantastic time. I'm pleased about that. Yo, Colin, thank you very much for the super chat. I also see another super chat out of the corner of my eye. I'll try and get around to it when I can, lads. I went rank two Sasquatch over six-star Captain Marvel movie. Fair play, mate. There are definitely times where you need a certain bit of utility or, like, a certain champion in your roster. Like, Sasquatch, dude, he's a really good character, man. So, yeah, I can I can see some of the reasons why, because he's quite unique in terms of where you can use him. He's got some good uses in, like, uh, you know, the Mystic variant... Uh, very good for certain stuff in, like, Act 7 as well. And at the end of the day, dude, it's a game, so you got to rank up and play the characters that you uh, enjoy. But yeah, Sasquatch is a beast, man. Do, do I think that you'll pass the challenge with Thing and his super team? Uh, for this one, um, I'm not too sure if, like, three-star Thing is strong enough. Uh, I don't think the champion synergy is on the three... Am I incorrect on that? I may be incorrect on that, actually, yeah. Uh, I don't know, give it a go, dude. Like, load up that synergy and start clearing the path. But I think Thing might be a bit too risky. I don't know, could work out, though. But yeah, I'm just trying to remember. I, th I think... Because you can only have three-star champions on the team that aren't mystic characters for this one. So yeah, it's the champion synergy for Thing on the three-star lads. Let me know in chat, because I'm pretty sure it's only on four-star. But I may be misremembering. Again, there's so many synergies in the game. It's hard to uh, hard to remember absolutely everything here. Dude, this King Groot fight is taking a while with the regeneration. But yeah, I I, I suggest like if you've got Aegon, dude, Aegon's Aegon's probably more than enough. Panda Man Pete, the boy recommends uh, recommends a bit of Ghost. Again, Ghost I think can work out quite nicely, especially with her uh, uh, Fury. Can't bring in Mystic Champions. They've got to be three star for this. Right, I think we've got enough damage to finish off there. Yo! <laughs> Love to see my UR set up on my Whale account 7DS. At some point, I do want to do some more gear guides and tutorials, man. But, uh, yeah, we'll get around to that soon. It's a bit of a dead week at the moment, but next week, dude, stuff is popping off on 7DS. So I'm looking forward to it. And what is up to my boy Victor? Dude, thank you so much for the $10 super chat, man. Dude, I still love a box of 20 chicken McNuggets, mate. I think that's a fact that will uh, almost certainly never change. But uh, Victor, hopefully you and your family are doing well, mate. And thank you very much for the super chat, man. Massive, massive love there. Uh, right, let's get cracking on. I think we've still got like 20 minutes left on the uh, the booster here. So we're, we're making, uh, making some good time on this path. It's been 23 minutes to get here. Uh, we got six more fights to go, but we got some of those painful Aegon fights out of the way. So now this man is, he's literally a 600 combo. So that, that's pretty good, dude. That's really, really nice. This, I, this has given me like, <laughs> what is this stream doing? It's making me want to like start up a free to play account, man. I still, I still got so much I need to do on my uh, last one, but it's like. Just figure out how like enjoyable it is to uh, just smash through some of the mid-game content. Just everything's a bit of a punching bag here, man. Oh my god, dude! Aegon shredding this fight, man. He's really going off on this one. Nice to see. I think there's literally zero chance if Hyperion gets to a special three that we survive it with a three star. But I don't know, it could happen if we're lucky. Nah, it's not going to happen. We're 100% dead. Okay, cool. Yo, Beans, thank you very much, man. Certainly appreciate it. Feel, uh, feel, feels good. It feels good just to have some like good, challenging content to uh, work through. 
And with a roadmap, bro, we got so much stuff, man. There are going to be some mega streams coming up. You know, we got Act 7.2 coming up. Uh, I think they moved it from next week to the week after because usually the Act stuff is uh, second week, but this one is a little bit uh, more delayed in comparison. Who's the best cosmic for Act 6? Mordo. I remember, <laughs> I remember oddly on my free to play, I used Medusa. I don't know who the absolute best is, though. But when I was doing my initial free-to-play run, yeah, I, I used Medusa, and she worked amazing for that fight. Um, but I was also playing like a beast. So yeah, that was that was a while ago, man. So yeah, I know Medusa uh, is all right for that. But let me know if you've already done it. Because I know a couple of people in chat have. Who did you use for Mordo and the uh, rest of the path? Did you find was your MVP? I imagine Cosmic Ghost Rider for some fights is going to be really good. I don't know if you can play him like that well on the Mordo fight, though. Maybe you can if you switch the rotation up a little bit. I'm not the most uh, skilled Cosmic Ghost Rider player, but I think uh, due to the fact that we got him um, maxed out as a five star, we'll probably take him for a run in there. All right, nice. Okay, he's gone indestructible. There's nothing I can do here. I might as well like hit him to build up my combo anyway. Free combo hits. And look at this, we're literally a 700 combo on the boy Aegon here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm curious to see if like they uh, allow Aegon to be used um, and if he's actually going to be a good champion for like the uh, the Grandmaster's Gauntlet that's coming out, the new Abyss style content. So yeah, we'll have to see what's up. Oh yeah, dude, some of the projects that he's doing over QMC, they're really, really cool, man. But, uh, oh, you're at that college. Oh, yeah, I'm just, just around the corner. Um, but, yeah, I once uh, I once went in to um, just, it was like right as COVID was starting, uh, I was talking about, like, doing some volunteering and maybe doing some, uh, was that, like, workshops and stuff there. So, yeah, I might, I might do that at some point in the future. But fair play, dude. Like, I, I live very, very close to QMC. So, uh, right, we got Hyperion up next, man. Dude, Hyperion is going to be a bit of a pain to deal with. Well, let's see what we can do. Why is Act 7 delayed? I'm not really too sure. But I don't know if it's like Karina challenges are going to give people <laughs> enough to play around with for the next week and a bit. Right, come on, mate. Fantastic. That's what we like to see, mate. We like to see an aggressive Hyperion. Just loves the windy breaths. Right, come on, fella. Another windy breath. Let's see it, mate. Let's see it. Fantastic. Let's go. Okay, we just need, like, a few more of those, mate. A few more of those. Come on. Come on, fella. Come on. There we go. There we go. Get it all out. One absolute champion. Thank you very much, sir. Play into my parry. Oh no. Ugh. It had a uh, promising start. <laughs> I think I should have quit out at a certain point there just to save the combo that I had. But yeah, that uh, that did not turn out so well. Right, I think we'll go for a uh, level one revive. A few health potions here, man. Maybe not too many, but doesn't matter they're all they're all pretty cheap again like uh, was it heal up three star champions man ain't that expensive just been clearing out the uh the cavalier crystal uh free stash today right let's go fella come on come on there we go surge it forward go off king let's see it let's see it oh amazing fantastic cheers thank you very much sir what we got next? Okay, very nice. <laughs> Amazing. Fantastic! That went a lot better than the first one, man. 
Go for that early access bundle, man. It just got a five-star Shang-Chi. Dude, massive congrats on that. I certainly will tomorrow, dude. Like, there's so much that I've uploaded this evening. Um, that, yeah, my YouTube channel's just going mental at the moment. We've got, like, a couple of Shang-Chi videos, a roadmap video, Karina's challenge, uh, breakdown video. So, yeah, there's just been a crazy amount of stuff. Right, um... What are, what are we going to go for here? So we got Black Widow. We really don't want to go for Black Widow. And then we've got D-Gen. So yeah, we definitely want to go left-hand side, I think. X-23 might be a bit annoying because she's got, like, double power gain. We should be fine to get through her. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. The double power gain plus regen is not the best time. Plus plus disadvantage as well. But, ah, we should be all right, mate. I think Cole would work for Mordo. Um, this one... Uh, I don't really think he'd be the best option. I don't know, maybe. Like, Cole does have that pretty good damage. Get, like, a three-star Guardian in the team, potentially. But I, d I don't know if he's got, like, enough damage, though. So, yeah, I'd, I'd test it out, dude, again. Like, there's no harm in uh, just bringing in various champions here and seeing what works. I think the problem we probably have a Cull Obsidian is just, like, getting him ramped up in the first place. Because, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a nightmare, I would assume, on the three-star version. So, yeah, I think that will probably be your biggest issue there, mate. All right, let's go for this. Yeah, Aegon is cutting through this X-23 really nice. It's almost like he's a super OP champion. And I just remember, because Aegon's super OP, we just don't even trigger the regen. So, yeah, we big chilling. Just, I forgot Aegon was OP for a sec, man. 100% ability accuracy, yeah, great time. But final fight, final fight, we're gonna go for a bit of Shang Chi. We'll get Shang Chi healed up, and then a little bit, a little bit of Human Torch, and then a bit of Aegon if we need to, a bit of Quake Nick Fury as well if we are getting absolutely battered. But if we could do this whole path and one revive, very, very happy. So yeah, should be a good time. Yo, massive love to Intoxicated Gamer as well. Thank you very much for tuning in this evening, man. What does it say? The 15k six-star shards. So you need to be Thronebreaker to unlock Karina's uh, objectives or Karina's challenges. And there you can see them. But yeah, these challenges don't appear unless you are at the Thronebreaker level. But this, this is probably like the most uh, Cavalier accessible one. But the other ones are just hell, dude. The other ones are so... so so incredibly nasty. Right, I think we'll save the special three. We've got Aegon so close to his like full 999 combo here. But yeah, I think if you if you are Thronebreaker and you're looking to start these challenges. This is definitely, like, the best one to start with, in my opinion. But all you need, literally, is Aegon, man. And then you you just big shine. But I brought I brought Shang-Chi as well for a little bit of fun. We've used him for one fight, though. It's because I didn't want to take too much power away from Aegon's ramp up. But you could, like, if you're big balls in it, dude, you'd do every fight with Shang-Chi, probably. I didn't see any reason uh, why not. But yeah, I just wanted to have that uh, powerhouse ready. But we, we're going to go for Shang-Chi on this one. So let's do it, man. Let's get this uh, let's get this fella healed up. Let's go for a few of these. One of these. And then... Uh, <laughs> I think we're about ready to go. Okay, Mordo one shot here, bro. That would be crazy good if we could. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Got the, uh, got the evasion charges, but again, we need to control that power. But I think with the... Um... What is it? Free and unblockable stuff. We should be able to quite nicely. And again, we can stun and hit Mordo. Just due to the fact that... Um... Oh, yeah, dude. Just ball those in this block. Oh, we do have the Plague Mine node, which I think is slightly unfortunate, but at the same time, we can still manage, I think. I 
I think for now we just keep on building up our uh, charges. No! Ah, oh, damn. There's a small chance I can survive here. Just by a hair thread. Nah, I'm dead. Oh, it was an alright send again. Sometimes you do get a little bit unlucky on more, though. I uh, could have played it a little bit safer there. I was a bit too caught up trying to get the dream special to and bulldoze this man down. Uh, but it was alright for the first try. Again, we got 50% less attack here. <laughs> Okay, nice. We got torches pre-fight. Let's see if we can build up that heat a bit more. Got the suicide mastery damage. Is uh, torches not loving the suicide masteries, man? The character that's built too well for them. Nice, dude. Nice. Right, that should be it. I think we met the objective criteria there. Uh, but yeah, in comparison to the Cyclops one, dude, that was like 50 times easier. Um, so yeah, I think that's like a really, really good starting one. Uh, I guess like the, uh, what is it, the Cosmic Champions in 5-2-5 uh, 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 doesn't look bad either. Did we not get it done? Oh, we did get it done. Dude, I was panicking there. I didn't see a claim now. Okay. Fantastic. There we go. Right. <laughs> Second one done. We got two three-star versions of Cyclops, lads. We're loving life here. Fantastic. Well, that's that's two out of, uh, two out of nine done. Uh, it's getting a little bit late here in England, lads. We've had a long day, man. You know, I think we put out, what was it, like six, six videos today? Six videos and live streams. So, yeah, it's been a... um. A uh, fair amount for the YouTube feed to uh, digest. Uh, but yeah, if you did enjoy it, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Does Shang-Chi need to be awakened? He doesn't need to be awakened, but it gives you up to like 20% burst damage on every single crit. So it's a nice bonus to the damage. Um, it's about like, what is it? About 15% overall, I think there. Um, and overall, you can also like crit into block as well, which is like a nice additional bonus. So yeah, I think the total is probably like 20, 25% additional damage in most fights. Um, so yeah, it's not needed, but like it's nice to have for him. Uh, oh, Caffeine Addict, thank you very much for the super chat. Some um, uh, mad, mad love. But yeah, we're going to be uh, live all throughout like various times this weekend, man. Just smashing out the rest of these objectives. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. We should be in for some really, really good streams ahead of us. Uh, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Take care and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And now we'll just wait a second, pardon me, for the uh, live stream to catch up and end. <laughs> but yeah, cheers everybody. Take care and enjoy the, uh, the rest of your Thursday.